How long will we be in Iraq? What will be the cost? What is the ultimate mission? How great is the danger here at home? A pall has fallen over the Senate chamber. We avoid our solemn duty to debate the one topic on the minds of all Americans. Even while scores of thousands of our sons and daughters faithfully do their duty in Iraq. What is happening to this country, my country, your country, our country? When did we become a nation that ignores and berates our friends? And calls them irrelevant. When did we decide to risk undermining international order by adopting a radical and doctrinary approach to using our awesome military might? How can we abandon diplomatic efforts when the turmoil in the world cries out? for diplomacy. Why can this president not seem to see that America's true power lies not in its will to intimidate, but in its ability to inspire? War appears inevitable. But I continue to hope that the cloud will lift. Perhaps Saddam will yet turn tail and run. Perhaps reason will somehow still prevail. I, along with millions, Scores of millions of Americans will pray, pray, pray for the safety of our troops, for the innocent civilians, women, children, babies, old and young, crippled deformed, sick in Iraq, and for the security of our homeland. May God continue to bless the United States of America in the troubled days ahead. And may we somehow recapture the vision which for the present eludes us. Madam President, I yield the floor and suggest the absence of a quorum. Clerk will call the roll. <laughs> Expressions of approval or disapproval are not permitted.